Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, uh, part three here of my eight part series, sort of testing out a short term investing strategy. Uh, in short, just sort of buying cards uh, right as the season has ended and then reselling them just as the season is starting, sort of testing out the theory that cards are softest right as the season has ended and uh, there's the most excitement around it right, right as the season is starting. And uh, you can see this is part three here, buying football cards, as obviously the football season has recently ended, but already did the buying baseball. And actually in a couple of weeks, we'll do the sell baseball, which is part four, and that will be the first time we actually get some you know, results of this experiment here. But just to remind everyone, only focusing on young stars in each sport, um, not not like prospects, but also not like veterans, more just sort of young uh, stars, as those are the players I suspect have the biggest swings. Also only focusing on rookie cards and really rookie cards from key major brands, not necessarily the most valuable, but uh, major established brands, you know, Prism and, and Select and Optic and uh, Topps Chrome and Bowman Chrome, these sort of things, not veering off into more obscure brands. And only focusing on uh, on graded cards, high grade. You know, PSA 10 for the most part, and there are the occasional PSA 9s and uh, some other grading companies as well. But that's the uh, that's the sort of basis for the experiment. I'm going to kind of see if you can just sort of do this without thinking it through too much and if it results in a profit, even though you obviously have fees on both ends. As a buyer, you have sales tax and shipping. And as a seller, you obviously have you know seller fees regardless of what platform you want. So uh, that's what the you know the nature of this experiment is. So in this video, I'm just going to be running through the purchases I made for the football regarding this experiment. And again, trying to get a cross section of players, not trying to predict like which specific player is going to be good. Trying to get a cross section of the uh, the young stars in the game. All right, so I went a little stronger on football than I did on baseball. A little more confident that football is going to work out than uh, than baseball. And I got to say, I, uh, while doing this, I sort of discovered something that I was not aware of as actually fairly significant. And I'll share that uh, sort of at the end here. First card is 2020 uh, Donruss Optic Hollow Joe Burrow Rookie is a PSA Mint 9. I won this on eBay for $138.07. And basically everything here is purchased at roughly current market value when I bought it. Uh, a couple things might be a little under, like, you know, 5 to 10% under, but... They're all basically at market value or really close to it. And that was the, that's the point. Like I wasn't looking to get bargains on these. I was looking to pay market value and then sell for market value uh, down the road and seeing if that, you know, results in a profit. So 138 bucks for the Joe Burrow. Uh, same card on uh, Tuo Tunga Bailoa, 2020 Adonar Soptic Hollow. This one's a Gem Mint 10, also his rookie. Bought this also on eBay, $153.50. Uh, uh, CJ Stroud, 2023 Prism. This is his silver Prism. Uh, the PSA Mint 9 I actually won this on Golden in a Golden auction. Uh, the total was $306. That's all in, including the buyer's premium. And for these cards, using the vaults was really beneficial, a Golden Vault and the PWCC Vault, because there's no shipping costs, there's no sales tax. I can just leave the cards in the vault, and then when I decide to sell them months down the road, uh, I just put them up for auction then and use the same platform to sell there, but obviously used a variety of uh, platforms to, to buy here. Got another CJ Stroud 2023 Prism. This is the Laser Prism. Uh, PSA Mint 9, this is another same same card, but a different parallel. Again, a rookie, and $126.50 won this in, a, in an eBay auction. Bryce Young, and, and you know, he didn't really have a very good rookie season, but I figured he might get a little buzz coming into into year two. This is a Donruss Optic Preview Pink uh, pink Prism, PSA Gem Mint 10. I bought this at a card show for $75, and you'll notice quite a bit of quarterbacks here. There's a few uh, non-quarterbacks coming up, but Obviously, a lot of the uh, you know football hobby is focused around quarterbacks. Uh, Justin Herbert, 2020 Panini Donruss Canvas Parallel is a, a, a rookie in a Gem Mint 10 from PSA. I bought this at a card show for $65. Got two nice Lamar Jacksons. It's 2018 Select Silver Prism uh, Gem Mint 10. Got this for $225 at a card show. And uh, his Optic Pink Prism PSA Gem Mint 10 rookie. I got this for $250 at a card show. I think both the Lamar Jacksons are, are, are sort of a little bit under... Uh, market value but yeah got three trevor lawrence's first is a 2021 select silver prism rookie psa gem Mint 10 got this on ebay for a hundred dollars on the nose uh 21 21 donner's optic pink prism or pink hollow uh gem Mint 10 uh, again a rookie got this one for 112 dollars and 80 cents got this on uh pwcc uh, in a pwcc auction that'll just go to my pwcc vault account and a, a mosaic silver prism rookie Gem Mint 10 got this on eBay for $49.50 uh, in auction. Here's our first non-quarterback, uh, Puka Nakua. Fun, fun name to say. 2023 Prism Neon Green Pulsar Prism Rookie. Gem Mint 10 from PSA, $157.50. That was on eBay in auction. Another wide receiver, CD Lamb 2020 Panini Prism Laser Prism Rookie. 
Genmin 10. Uh, this was listed on eBay for $120. I made an offer of $80 uh, and the seller accepted, which is basically market value. Micah Parsons, 2021 Prism, Pink Prism. Rookie uh, Genmin 10. I think this is the only defensive player I got. $61. Uh, that was an eBay auction. Justin Fields, 2021 Mosaic Camo Pink Prism. A lot of pinks. I didn't realize how many pink prism cards there were, but a bunch of them. Gem Min 10, rookie, and this went for $43.20 as a PWCC auction. Uh, another Justin Fields, 2021 Prism Light Blue Prism rookie, Gem Min 10. Got this on Golden for $201 all in. I figure Justin Fields will probably switch teams in the offseason, so there may be some buzz going into the season with uh, if he's the starter on a new team. Jordan Love, 2020 Select Silver Prism, Gem Min 10, uh, $104. That was on Golden. And last one, 2021 Immaculate, Kyle Pitts Rookie Patch Auto. Kyle Pitts wasn't on my radar for this, but I saw this card and I thought it was I thought it was going you know pretty cheap. So I just uh, I bought it. Nice patches, high-end brand. Uh, it's numbered out of just 25 and I uh, got it for $67 on Golden. And again, you know, he's a tight end, so not really what I was looking for. But yeah, I thought that I thought the price was good here, and I I uh, just bought it and uh, thought I'd throw it into the mix. All right, so here's the summary of everything. About a total of 18 cards. I bought eight of them on eBay, two on PWCC, four on Golden, and four at a card show. And total purchase price was two thousand three hundred fifteen dollars and seven cents. Came with uh, just under a hundred dollars in shipping and sales tax fees. So total total buy-in was. $2,406.65. You can see on uh, PWCC Golden and obviously at a card show, there's no shipping costs and there's no sales tax, whereas obviously on eBay there is, but I included all that here. And we'll sell all of these on the same platform that I bought them uh, on. Uh, the ones that I bought at a card show, I will sell in auction on eBay uh, as well. So we're going to check back in I, you know, some, some August, let's say, somewhere around there, and uh, see, how, see how this uh, you know, panned out. And I mentioned at the beginning, as I was doing this experiment, I sort of learned something uh, from the research, which, you know, if nothing else, will be extremely valuable moving forward. But uh, it got me thinking that this this particular experiment may not pan out particularly well. Uh, and, you, you know, what I learned is, is you know, makes sense intuitively, of course, but I just had sort of never really thought of it. And that is that uh, the right time to buy is probably not February or, or early March, as I was doing after the season is over. But uh, sort of after players have right been eliminated from the playoffs, uh, here's uh, and just every card I was researching showed this this trend. Here's a couple examples: 2021 uh, Panini Prism Trevor Lawrence rookie, uh, PSA Gem Min 10. Here are the sales of the card, and you can see uh, during the season down at the bottom, you know the card was selling for 130, 160, even up to 180, and then right when he got eliminated in early January, the card plummeted to basically a hundred dollars. And uh, now, and you can see in the most recent sales, it's kind of back up to the, the 130, you know, or, or 140 range. But there was this window right when uh, the Jag, you know, right when the Jaguars had gotten eliminated, when the card was really dropped. And it wasn't, it wasn't, the season was still going on, or the playoffs were still going on. So that would have been the time to buy, uh, clearly, uh, you know, at least according to this particular card and a lot of the cards that I researched. Uh, here's another example, 2020 Panini Prism Joe Burrow, Green Prism Rookie PSA 10, another card I was uh, looking for. Uh, here's recent sales of the card in the grade. And uh, down at the bottom, you can see the card was selling for, you know, three, four, five hundred during the season. Then when Burrow got hurt and, you know, the Bengals were basically out of the playoffs, uh, there were sales down in the 250 range. And then, uh, and now, you know, uh, up, you know, up into March, the most recent sale was back to 360, kind of the price it was going for roughly during the season. Um, so, you know, the right time to buy would have been right, right when the Bengals were, were eliminated, not after the entire season was over. So that is something I've learned here and will, you know, implement moving forward. And uh, again, you know, a lot of cards showed this pattern. It was, it was not just like a few, I, I, these were just two examples out of many that, showed a noticeable drop right right when they were eliminated uh, but by the time February and March rolled around you know that drop had sort of leveled out but that's it for part three here uh, buying football and we'll see how it all pans out let me know in the comments what you thought of any of these purchases uh, any you know you liked or didn't like or uh, what do you think of the experiment as a whole but really appreciate it as always and see you all again next time thanks everyone